hello everyone, Rex Teach here at your service. So for today's video short tutorial, we are about to learn what are the basic functions that we are mostly needed when we are working with Excel. So these are the five common functions which are available already in our AutoSum functions drop down menu. So if you look at here on our data, we have the sum, the average, the count, the minimum and maximum how they are used easily actually this is our objective for today so if you look at the data that we have right now we have areas where you can fill the information so at first we have to get the sum in this particular area so select first where you want the answer to appear and on that area you will go to the bottom here where you can select this option by default if you click that it will be a sum function but if you'd like to you can click also the sum here so once you have that one the particular selection of frames will be available and just simply hit enter button on your keyboard or this particular icon here enter so now if you tally all of this that is 170 so technically your computer excel can do it in a very short period of time so even there will be a bunch of numbers you have for the average the same story you have to do you're gonna click this option here where you can click the average and the same thing just click the check box here enter and then you can just simply have the average if you if you get the average of this number so that is 35 among them the count is the number of data we have in here in, in forms of number so one two three four five because these are short datas it's easy for us to know that's five but to use with the use of the formula just click count numbers and then press enter in the keyboard or press this now we have five so this is very hel uh, helpful if there are so many data we have to select at this moment this for the demo purposes we are using only less numbers for the minimum value you just have to click this one again here that is for min so basically if you look at the data selected so the minimum value we have is for the pies or we call that one as 20 in here in the amount so you're expected that 20 will appear because that is the smallest among among them so these are very vital if the numbers are a lot now for the maximum expected answer will be 100 but with the use of the formula you don't have to type 100 itself but just put, click the max value and then you just have to click enter again then you have it so all of these functions all of these formulas will be available on this particular or functions would say in this particular button here where you can have now <clears throat> let's move to a little advanced way of getting those sum average or would say the maximum minimum so we have another data here where you can see all the random numbers you can find so in this area here we are trying to get the total or the uh, or the sum of the subtotals in here so if you observe right now they are actually not in the same or in the uh, adjacent to each other so this is a little bit tricky if you are new to this so listen properly so that you will get the concept on how to do it so first things first is click the some functions if by chance the, there is a pattern on your computer or on your data computer will automatically or excel will automatically select them by default like that one but if given a chance it will not give the selected data that you'd like to have so what you will do instead is select first the first number you want to add and then in your keyboard hold the control button and then press the second one so this is the second one if you select if you look at the data now it's e3 and i3 so again keep holding the control button and select another data that you want to select until you get all the data that you want so right now it's selecting all those four cells so when you press in enter or this button so you will get the total of that particular thing and don't forget if you are repeating formulas for the next uh, for the for the data next to it you just have to click this number and go to the right bottom right corner of it or the fill handle and simply drag and drop where you want that particular value will be so once you have it so you will have the value like this so i think i just have to uh, double click to auto fit the value in here so if you double click you can see that right now the selections of cells so that is for the sum itself now we will move now to get the best month so we will now look into this particular value what is the profit of the best month in this so these are the numbers we have so technically speaking we are looking for the maximum value what's like which month are having a good sales or profit all right so we will click this particular cell where you want the answer will appear and then the same concept choose the correct function you want which is the maximum at this moment and select the numbers you want so at this moment you have to select this three 
and the same with the sum you have to hold the control button CTRL in your keyboard which is in the bottom left corner so then select the second range of cells the third range of cells and then another range of cells so those are the month where there is a profit into it so when you press enter in your keyboard it will tell you that it's uh, 28,000 which is technically this is the highest among them so the same concept with the worst but this worst is talking we are talking about the minimum value so click the min value here select the same data that you wanted to hold control in your keyboard keep holding it until you have selected everything that you need to select and then again press enter in your keyboard then you can see that the worst month is zero which is december at this moment now the, for the average so as we know average technically speaking we have to use the same concept so just get them here average select the data as well hold control button all these things here and that will give you so then when you just have to press enter or this particular thing so the average total for this if you actually select them all again by just selecting them your computer will give you the value at the bottom so it's 10,764.8 something here of course there's a decimal value which is hiding in this particular part here so those are the basic of the functions that you might need to learn first glance of using the excel i hope you have learned something from today or from this tutorial today and i hope to see you again for the next short video tutorial of different functions you can find in excel see you later guys bye